So in this video, we're going to go over the fun part, which is shopping on the online store. So this is what our new storefront looks like. Um, you might notice that there's no longer menu items at the top. Instead, these are found in a drop-down menu on the left-hand side. So I'm going to start by choosing the bakery. And once it's been chosen, you can see that there's a few subcategories found here. If you click on those, that will narrow down your choices. Now I'm going to try putting something in my cart. So if I press, press the Add button, I can enter in the quantity and then Add to Cart. A pop-up window shows that the item has successfully been added. Now if I want to narrow down my choices, I can open up this little side menu and say I just want to choose some bread from Astro Lane. I can click that and then I can add to my cart. Now if you want to know more information about the item, you can just click on the title and it will bring you to this secondary page. If you want to know about, more about the producer, you can just click on the producer name. Now say I'm filtering by producer and I choose a producer that doesn't have any bread items. This producer comes up and shows nothing on the screen. This can be a little bit confusing, but just make sure you X out of that and it will take you back to the bread page. Now you can also narrow down your choices by attributes, which is kind of cool as well. So I'm now going to show you another feature which I find really nice. So I'm going to shop by dry goods this time. And I'm going to select, I'm going to narrow down my choices by selecting Blackshire Garden. And I want some black beans. Now if I click the drop down menu, I can get different size quantities of those beans. I just click and change the quantity and then I can add to my cart. Now not all items have that so you might want to check on certain items if you can get larger or smaller amounts. Now, If you want to see what you put in your cart you can click on the little cart right up here. It will list the items, the units, the price, and the quantity. If you click view and confirm this will take you to another page where it has your distribution information, your delivery information, and your billing information. And then you have a choice to edit any of the items that you put into your cart. When you're done shopping, it's really important that you confirm your order. Now, once you've confirmed your order, you will receive a, an email. And you also have the option to change your order as long as it's before Monday at noon. You will not be able to confirm your order if you haven't inputted in your credit card information. So to do that, you can go over here to the little person emblem, click account information, and then select credit card.